Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send emails on specific days throughout the year using Power Automate. If you enjoy these videos, feel free to subscribe. I make videos on SharePoint, Teams, Power Automate, and Power Apps. All right, so for my use case, I'm going to do a holiday PTO email. So I'm going to send emails the day before a holiday just to remind the team that, you know, tomorrow's a holiday and not to report for work. So I create a SharePoint list and I have a few holidays here. So let me show you. So the holiday field is the title field. And then I manually entered in these holiday dates. First thing is I'm going to do a calculated field just so I don't have to make another field because I will need the day before the holiday to compare in my Power Automate flow to actually send the email. I don't want to send it on this day. And I think it's easier just to make another column here. So you want to go into your list settings, create column. And I'm just going to name mine day before holiday. So this will be calculated. And the formula is just going to be the holiday date minus one. So that will give us the day before the holiday. And I want to use this data type to be returned as date and time. Date only is fine. Add to default view. OK. So let's go back into our list and just see that it worked correctly. So as you can see, we have the holiday date. Then we also do have the day before the holiday. So that's exactly what we want here. All right, so the SharePoint list is done with the holidays. Let's go into our Power Automate. So we want to create a new flow. And this flow will be a scheduled cloud, cloud flow because we want this to run every day and compare it to the day before the holiday. If it equals that day, we want to send an email. If it doesn't equal that day, we don't want to do anything. So we'll just do holiday reminder email. And we can start it today. And I will send it, we'll send it at noon the day before a holiday. And I want to repeat every day. So we go ahead and press create. So for the first step, we actually want to get the current date. And for this, we want to do a compose. So for this compose statement, I want to do a custom expression. So the custom expression will look like this. So I want to use Eastern time zone. So it's going to be convert time zone, parenthesis. And for my string, I want to use the UTC now because I need that date. And UTC now, parentheses, uh, comma. So this will be the date I'm converting the time zone I'm converting from or UTC. It's UTC, all capitals within single quotes, comma. And the next Eastern time zone is Eastern standard time in single quotes. And we want to use another comma. And this is just going to be the format. I want to output the converted time. So single quotes, I want to do month, month. And you have to do capital M. So if you do lowercase, it's going to get the minute instead of month, uh, FYI. So month, month, day, day, year, 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 in single quotes. So I will just toss this in a notepad really quick. And make it bigger for y'all to see. So that's what it looks like. Convert time zone, UTC now, a comma. UTC, this is the time zone I'm converting from, this is the time zone I'm converting to, and this is the format. So let's go ahead and make sure this works. Press OK. So it looks like it took it in correctly. So next thing I want to do is the get items function, get items action. And I want to pull all these items from the SharePoint list, and I want to compare that date to every single item date. So it's going to be get items and it's in my marketing SharePoint and it is the holiday schedule. Uh, there's no need for advanced options unless you want to do specific dates. So that's all on you. So next is I want to do a condition statement. So for this condition statement, we want to do an expression because the calculated field will return the date with the time actually. And if we do that comparison, it's not going to work because this is formatted to do month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. 
So we need to get rid of that time. So for our expression, let's do dynamic content and we want to do the day before holiday. So it's going to put this in and apply to each and that's because we have to go through each of these items. So that's why I did that. All right, so we want to go ahead and press control A to copy all, control C to copy. And we want to go to our expression. So the expression you want to do is format date time. Then you want to paste in the SharePoint column and you want to remove the add symbol. So within the parentheses, next we just want to do the format. So it's going to be the same as our compose. So month, month, day, day, year, 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 a single quote. And let me just pull that into a notepad. So it'll look like format date time and it gets put into an item, supply to each and just using the column that we calculated. And this is the format date it's going to output. So you press okay. So this has got to be equal to our compose. So that is our compose outputs down here. So if this is yes, we want to send an email. B2. So if you have like a team, you want to have a distribution list for that team. I don't have a team. I just use single users. So I'll just have a one of my users that's on my team. And so for the subject, we'll just do a holiday reminder. And we can actually list the holiday here because we have it that information in our SharePoint list. I'll note the title. The holiday reminder. Hi everyone. This is a reminder that we do that we don't report for work tomorrow. Enjoy your holiday. Thanks, management. If it's no, we don't want to do anything. So we can go ahead and press save. So there's actually no holidays tomorrow. So I added a SharePoint item, Michael's birthday, on my birthday, but it will do for the test case. And the holiday date is tomorrow. So the day before holidays today. Let's go ahead and run this. The test manually. Run flow. Let's take a look at our compose. So we grab the right date with the convert time zone. Uh, get items, we'll click to download just so we can see the output. So as you can see, the day before holiday, so it actually gives the, uh, the UTC time along with that. So that's why we had to do the uh, format date. Let's go ahead and throw apply to each. So that's actually our 11th item in the SharePoint list. So I can go ahead and skip to that. Click on the condition. As you can see, it passed by true. Then an email. So it sent the email. So let's go ahead and check my Outlook. And as you can see, holiday reminder, Michael's birthday. Hi, everyone. It's a reminder that we don't report for work tomorrow. Enjoy your Michael's holiday. Thanks, management. And that will be the video on how to use Power Automate to send an email on specific days. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one.